Jacobus Henricus van T. Hoff, Jr., T. H. F., the 30th of August 1852 to 1 March 1911, was a Dutch physical and organic chemist and the first winner of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. He is best known for his discoveries in chemical kinetics, chemical equilibrium, osmotic pressure, and stereochemistry. The van T. Hoff's work in these subjects helped found the discipline of physical chemistry as it is today. Biography The third of seven children, Van T. Hoff was born in Rotterdam, Netherlands, the 30th of August 1852. His father was Jacobus Henricus van T. Hoff, Sr., a physician, and his mother was Alle de Kolf van T. Hoff. From a young age, he was interested in science and nature, and frequently took part in botanical excursions. In his early school years, he showed a strong interest in poetry and philosophy. He considered Lord Byron to be his idol. Against the wishes of his father, Van T. Hoff chose to study chemistry. First, he enrolled at Delft University of Technology in September 1869, and studied until 1871, when he passed his final exam on at the 8th of July and obtained a degree of chemical technologist. He passed all his courses in two years, although the time assigned to study was three years. Then he enrolled at University of Leiden to study chemistry. He then studied in Bonn, Germany with Friedrich Kekulen in Paris with C.A. Wurz. He received his doctorate under Edouard Mulder at the University of Utrecht in 1874. In 1878, Van T. Hoff married Johanna Francina Mies. They had two daughters, Johanna Francina and Ali de Jacoba, and two sons, Jacobus Henricus Van T. Hoff III and Gover Jacob. The Van T. Hoff died at the age of 58, on 1 March 1911 at Steglitz, near Berlin, from tuberculosis. Career. The Van T. Hoff earned his earliest reputation in the field of organic chemistry. In 1874, he accounted for the phenomenon of optical activity by assuming that the chemical bonds between carbon atoms and the neighbors were directed towards the corners of a regular tetrahedron. This three-dimensional structure accounted for the isomers found in nature. He shares credit for this with the French chemist Joseph Lebel, who independently came up with the same idea. Three months before his doctoral degree was awarded Van T. Hoff published this theory, which today is regarded as the foundation of stereochemistry. First in a Dutch pamphlet in the fall of 1874, and then in the following May in a small French book entitled Le Chimie dans le Space. A German translation appeared in 1877, at a time when the only job Van T. Hoff could find was at the veterinary school in Utrecht. In these early years his theory was largely ignored by the scientific community, and was sharply criticized by one prominent chemist, Hermann Kolb. Kolb wrote a Dr. J. H. Van T. Hoff of the veterinary school at Utrecht has no liking, apparently, for exact chemical investigation. He has considered it more convenient to mount Pegasus and to proclaim in his La Chimie Danzler space how, in his bold flight to the top of the chemical Parnassus, the atoms appeared to him to be arranged in cosmic space. Quote, However, by about 1880 support for Van T. Hoff's theory by such important chemists as Johannes Wisleisnus and Victor Mayer brought recognition. In 1884, Van T. Hoff published his research on chemical kinetics, titled Etudes to Dynamic Chimique, in which he described a new method for determining the order of a reaction using graphics and applied the laws of thermodynamics to chemical equilibria. 
He also introduced the modern concept of chemical affinity. In 1886, he showed a similarity between the behavior of dilute solutions and gases. In 1887, he and German chemist Wilhelm Mostfeld founded an influential scientific magazine named Zeitschrift für Physikliche Chemie. He worked on Svante Arrhenius's theory of the dissociation of electrolytes and in 1889 provided physical justification for the Arrhenius equation. In 1896, he became a professor at the Prussian Academy of Sciences in Berlin. His studies of the salt deposits at Stasfurt were an important contribution to Prussia's chemical industry. The Van T. Hoff became a lecturer in chemistry and physics at the Veteran College in Utrecht. He then worked as a professor of chemistry, mineralogy, and geology at the University of Amsterdam for almost 18 years before eventually becoming the chairman of the chemistry department. In 1896, Van Tiehoff moved to Germany, where he finished his career at the University of Berlin in 1911. In 1901, he received the first Nobel Prize in chemistry for his work with solutions. His work showed that very dilute solutions follow mathematical laws that closely resemble the laws describing the behavior of gases, honors and awards. In 1885 Van Tiehoff was appointed as a member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Sciences. Other distinctions include honorary doctorates from Harvard and Yale, Victoria University, the University of Manchester, and University of Heidelberg. He was awarded the Davy Medal of the Royal Society in 1893, and elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1897. He was awarded the Helmholtz Medal of the Prussian Academy of Sciences and appointed Chevalier de la Legion d'Honneur and Senator der Kaiser Wilhelm Gesellschaft. The Van Tiehoff became an honorary member of the British Chemical Society in London, the Royal Dutch Academy of Sciences, American Chemical Society, and the Académie des Sciences in Paris. Of his numerous distinctions, Van Tiehoff regarded winning the first Nobel Prize in Chemistry as the culmination of his career. The following are named after him. Van Tiehoff Factor. The Van Tiehoff Equation. Lebel Van Tiehoff Rule. 